Well, my friends, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a fresh episode of Project Scandinavia. Last episode is linked for you above right now. Make sure you go and check that one out. It was uh, yesterday's episode and uh, we're going to crack on with another one, a big one. Uh, we're taking on Superliga opposition in the cup. We've got a little bit of stuff to get caught up on, so let's do it. Okay, my friends, so in case you've just kind of like moved forward, you didn't bother going to watch last episode, which I would be very disappointed in, uh, we lost 4-0 and drew 1-1. It was not the most ideal uh, episode, it has to be said. But we followed it up, though, with a really impressive 4-1 victory in the league. You'll see Connor Carty, uh, Fatosa, Harker and Rockdale all on the score sheet. Rockdale, it has to be said, has to go down as man of the match. Two assists and a goal in the game. Phenomenal performance from him. Um, they did get themselves, you know an equaliser, but uh, it weren't enough for them, basically. We were just far too powerful on the day and a really, really good win for us. And um, it leaves us third in the league. I'll show you because we're not playing any league games today. But it actually leaves us third in the league. Five wins, two draws, two defeats, 17 points on the board, three points off top, which is amazing considering what's expected of us this season. Um, but we are going to be play it, playing, oh, taking part in the DBU po uh, Pokalen. I believe that's how we say that. Third round against Bromby. And this is going to be a very, very difficult game. I remember the Bromby team of the 90s who were phenomenal and uh, were very very good in like the Europa League and stuff I believe they played like Liverpool and things like that like they were a really good team back in the day um, so we are going to be playing those uh, that team in today's uh, episode it's the only game we're going to be playing and uh, yeah when we get to the end I will talk to you about next episode where we're going to pick this up uh, obviously with this series we do push through a lot more games between episodes but uh, yeah we'll talk about that at the end but my friends let's push on and let's play this game in the league and uh, this is um, not the team I'm going to go with because as you can see everybody's blowing out their booty holes we're actually going to go with Balak at right back um, we are going to play Stock home, is it? I was going to play it like this. That's the way I was going to. Mm, I'm not sure. Stock home, is it? Who I was going to. Play. Ah, yes, I just got to change it to defend. We're going to play Stock home next to Mensa. I'm actually going to stick with Rockdale because he was really good in the last game. I'm going to stick with Pavardson and Fatos. They were really good. Um, Haraldson is blowing. I'm actually going to play Smith Peterson on the right hand side um, because I've been bringing him in on as a substitute there and he's been doing a good job and yeah that's kind of what we're going to go with um, in the game I think and I'm just going to take Haraldson off the bench put Dickman there because Haraldson's knackered. So yes and I'm going to put MA on as well because he's a better option um, because he can play down that right hand side so yeah a few changes i really don't expect to win but i still think this is a pretty good team um so yeah that's what we're going to go with we're going to go um slicker in goal uh we're not we're going to go rystad don't know why slicker's there we're actually going to go rystad in goal ballock and uh rockdale at fullback stockholm mensa at center back paul vardson and uh fatosa in the midfield smith Peterson on the right face fruit down on the left we're going to stuckler carty up top they've actually got 11 goals between them this season uh already which is decent i didn't expect the deadly duo to be able to do it at the next level but they are let's see if they can do it against bromby and so here we go ladies and gents um i expect this to be tough i kind of expect this to be you know us on the end of a hiding it's just the way it's going to go i think my friends but uh yeah it's a cup game it's the third round it's exciting we've done this every single season uh, already um in project scandinavia um this is our third season by the way already in this series which is incredible to me we really are sort of like flying through it because of the way we're making this series um we are able to get through the seasons a little bit quicker but it's still entertaining it's still a lot of fun and uh you guys are still really enjoying it as he comes flying forward the bromby player but shoots wide Apologies for taking a little sippy sip of my drink, but I am absolutely famushkin today. And uh, yeah, I'm just uh, gasping for that liquid, that high quality H2O, in the words of uh, the water boy. And uh, anyway, 14 minutes gone. I'm on one and I, I need to have a day off. Uh, 15 minutes gone in the game. It's all Brumby. So we are just going to ask a little bit more of the boys and see if they can just get up for it. G him up a little. See if we can create anything. Um, Mensa. He's having a little bit of a mare at the back. 
We're going to have a corner to Bromby and everybody, including most of the Bromby players, missed it, apart from the man who has just stuck it in the back of the net. Um, do we just go for broke, go gung-ho and just see what happens? I think that's what we're going to do. <laughs> just as I go attacking, they're going to have a free kick and they're going to make it do nil. And uh, yeah, it's game over. Should have just um, not bothered today. Quite clearly. <laughs> oh, dear. I don't know why I put us through it. I don't know why when we get to the third round and we draw a big team, I think to myself, I know what I'll do. I'll make that an episode because we all sit here at the end and go, what the fuck was that? And Smith Peterson's going to go and get sent off the absolute knob. Brilliant. Now we've got to play the rest of the game with 10 men. We'll drop Fryce in. Um... I think I'm just going to bring him on and I am going to bring Carty off. We'll stick with Stuckler up top because there's a deep line player. He will drop deeper. He does work a bit harder. So we'll stick with him and yeah, we'll just go to a 4-4-2 and I guess we'll just have to go back to a balanced approach. But uh, I think an absolute bumming is incoming now. I really do. I don't see anything positive happening after Smith Peterson decided to get sent off, but uh, throw in Stuckler into Balik, back to Stuckler, nice, holding on to it, Twardek tried to cross, instead just kicks it against the player, and Bromby are in, and he has turned the entire defence, and that's a good save from Rystead. The defence couldn't be asked, could they? Ah, oh dear, headed out, that's nice, good job. Just keep it respectable. That's all I ask now of the boys. Don't don't get battered. Um, be good to remind them that the pressure's off. No, it was terrible. That is what you're going to get told. And you are going to get berated for getting sent off as well, you knobhead. And uh, yeah, let's just get out there for the second half. As you can tell, I don't like sendings off. I just think it's just pointless, pointless shite. And... Um, Especially when it's a second yellow, when the player's going nowhere. He's out on the touchline, not doing a thing. And, yeah, this is going to be free, isn't it? No, well done. Good defending. And it's still 2-0. They've got a corner, though. Bromby's corner comes in. It's headed out well. And Carvalho Fatosa did well to get on it. And that's a great ball into Stuckler. Now, can he finish? No, he drags his shot wide. Oh, dearie me. It was a really good opportunity, that. For, uh, Race isn't having a good game. Paul Varton's not having a good game. Stuckler's not having a good game. But I'm going to be honest, are we all really bloody surprised? We've had two shots. We've got ten men. And uh, Bromby have basically come to our ground with uh, the intentions of making it their own. Um, we're going to make a change. Fryce is going to come off for Dickman. Um, and... Do you know what? I'm just I'm going to bring Stuckler off and save him for the league, and we're going to bring Harker on to play for the rest of the game. As uh, a highlight is uh, is going, Twardek into Pulvardson into Fatosa, back to Pulvardson, Fatosa again. We're just having a little one-two between the two of them. They think it's a training exercise. Stuckler, oh, it looked like he was going to be through, but defender got an important touch on it. Uh, Twardeka, he's going to try and dance through. It was a nice ball in, and unfortunately Stuckler couldn't get on the end, but those two substitutions are going to happen now. And uh, Dickman, good ball! Oh, good header! Come on, lads, showing a bit of fight, even with 10 men, and 2 0 down against a bigger team. It's nice to see, isn't it? It really is nice to see. But going to this flat 4 4 2, it does make us a bit harder to break down. Um. And there's just no point going for it, ladies and gents. I know it doesn't make for like the most entertaining episode, but you know we've got a league to think about, um, and that's really important. Is trying to stay up this year, but that's a good ball out to Twadek. Good ball in, and we're gonna get a goal through Jesper Dickman, and it's two one, ladies and gents. Brilliant football from the lads since to making those changes, going down to ten men, a flat four four two. It does seem to have improved us a little bit, and um, Bromby have really taken their foot off the gas, haven't they? That's that's an amazing, amazing turn of events. We've got ten minutes to go. And you know what? I am just going to go for broke. For the last five or so minutes, we're just going to go for broke, see what happens. 
That's not bad. It's been a good second half, a good, really good second half performance. Three, two minutes into the time. It's not going to happen, ladies and gents. But do you know what? We can come out of that with our heads held very, very high. Um, you know, to play the majority of that game with 10 men and come away with a 2-1, that's not bad. Bromby should actually take a good look at themselves in the mirror. Not good from them. Okay, so for the third year in a row, it's not to be in the third round of the cup. It was AGF in the first year, Michelin last year, and now Bromby. So uh, yeah, maybe next year we'll beat one of the Super League teams in this round of the competition. Uh, but where are we going to pick up this car this uh, series next? I think we will just move forward maybe to the Limburg game. They're going quite well in the league, and then we've got uh, Vagil as well, I think would make for quite a good episode um, I was going to push on like eight games but that would take us like all the way here and uh, obviously this is our first time in the Nordic Bet Liga so um, want to kind of make the most of it in case it all goes you know the shit hits the fan it all goes a bit Pete Tong and we get relegated so um, yeah want to make the most of it so I'm going to play Thyestid, Helsingor, uh, Ven, Cecil, uh, uh, Fredericia and Koj. I'm going to play all those off cam and then we'll come back next episode and do a double header of um, uh, Lingby and v Vajal. I've been calling them Lindberg haven't I? Why the fuck have I been calling them Lindberg? My language has been quite bad the last two episodes as well. This is what happens when um, I spend too much time at home. I, my, yeah, I don't, yeah, don't watch what I say. But uh, Lingby and Vajul, that'll be next episode. As I say, we don't need to look at the league table. We've only done a cup game today. But uh, yeah, that'll be back with you next Wednesday, my friends. So look forward to it. So my friends, we are done and dusted for another episode. We're out of the cup once again. It is what it is. It's the way the cookie crumbles. But uh, I think we actually held our own in that second half. Oh, it was a decent performance from us. But uh, join me next time for another couple of big league games. Hopefully we'll be able to put a little bit of run of form between now and then. Uh, so wish me luck. But uh, we are done and dusted. Subscribe if you're new. Like if you've enjoyed. Bell notification button to never miss an episode. Discord and uh, socials in the description. Like it, follow it, get involved, come chat with me. Me, but uh, we're done. You're legends. See you next time. Oh, yeah.